I've tried to really give practical advice from a clinician and an educator um, as far as what modifications would be most helpful or effective for patient care. I try to use it as much as I can on, on labor and delivery. So I found it to be very helpful. I usually teach the residents with the device. I try to show them and I compare it with the older model that we have. It takes a lot to you know locate it and to wheel it in and to get it set up versus the Ravana, the Acura, which is just much easier to use. It's really fun when they see it work. It just is like a spark for them because they say, okay, it's about you know, around 4.8 centimeters, it says, and then they get it right about that. And it's just like this big light bulb, you know, goes off for them. It is so quick, it is so accurate. There was a patient we had who had a great need for a, an epidural. She, she had a multiple medical problems. She had a premature baby. There were all kinds of reasons why this would be best thing for her. The residents I was with decided that they thought that they wanted to try without the Acuro. And the first epidural that was placed was not really in the epidural space. She was uncomfortable. We had to come back. And then uh, we used the Acuro and it turned out that she actually had had invisible to us, but she had had a rotation of her spine, scoliosis, that was identified using the Acuro. And so then she actually then got a, a working epidural that um, sort of just in the nick of time. You know, that was convincing to me to just start out with the Acuro and balance that as a supervisor. But I think ultimately she, I was very grateful for the device because then that, it allowed us to give her the best care. It is inherently anxiety provoking to have somebody with a big needle behind you that you can't see who's poking around and causing you pain. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing that takes that away. And so the more you can minimize that, it's just, it's just a better overall experience for them. It's safer for them too.